Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another math lesson. I've got a sick one here for you. We're going to be learning how to evaluate expressions. And you know what? If you think back to the last lesson where we learned what expressions were, we're going to take it to the next step. We're going to learn how to find the value of those expressions. We're going to learn how to evaluate them and find the answer. In other words, how many marbles we've got all together and all that good stuff. But before we do that, I want to show you this here. And you're looking at it, I'm sure, like, hey, we've seen this before, the last video. And that's true. We did. And I'm going to review this with you, not now. I'm going to come back to it as we go through the problems, and that will be a good sort of uh, review session at the same time as learning new stuff. So let's get started here with the first thing. We've got a cup, and uh, we've got a plus sign and three round circles, and we're calling these circles here counters, but you can call them anything you want. You can call them gumdrops, you can call them um, raisins or marbles. I'm going to call them marbles when I'm explaining this to you. Now, what's the point of this cup? Well, this cup has some marbles inside. Let me do this. We got some marbles inside. Let me, oh, it doesn't want to move. Let's do, ah, like that. So we've got some mystery amount in there. We have maybe one, maybe two, maybe five. Who knows? But we've got them in here, and I'm not letting you know how many we have. I'm not telling you. Now, remember last lesson, we call those mystery values, we call them variables. And we use letters like X and A and W, we use those kind of letters to represent the unknowns. So if you see a cup, it's talking, it's referring to some unknown amount that's inside, it's hidden. The question is, well, before the question, it says, let C represent the number of counters. So we can't choose any letter we want in this, we have to choose C. We have to write C. And C stands for some number that's inside. And we're going to add to it three more. The question states, what is the expression? Ladies and gentlemen, you have already created the expression. It is C plus 3. It's a beautiful thing. C plus 3, it's done. That's the expression. Because it's addition, you can flip it around because in addition, order doesn't matter. They are both correct. They are both done. Hey, before we move on, remember what this is called? The variable. If you see a letter, you know you've got a variable. How about that plus three? These three here. They don't change, and they increase the amount of marbles. You know what we call those things? We call them constant. It's a number that does not change. We will have three marbles today and tomorrow, and as long as you keep coming back to this video, there will always be three marbles here. They don't change. And they increase the value of the expression. How do we know it increases it? Because it has a plus sign. We're adding more. So we call this, this plus 3, we call this a constant. Now it says put five counters inside of the cup. Yes, sir. We will put five, car we'll put five marbles inside. There they are. Now it is no longer a mystery. We know how much is in the cup. We have five. What is the value of C? What's the value? A value is a known amount. And since we know that there is five marbles in here, we're going to say it's no longer a mystery. C is equal to five. That's the value of C. How about the next part? If you substitute, we'll come back to see what this word means. C equals six. Mr. M, what's C? Remember, C is the mystery amount that's in the cup. And I'm telling you, it's 6. We've got 6 in there. Then what is the value, the value of the expression? Well, let's think about this. If we have 6, not 5, but we have 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. Is it really that easy? Yes, it is. This is logical stuff. 6 plus 3 is 9. That is the value of the expression. But then it's a substitution. You know what? You know in soccer or basketball, you all watch those sports, you've played them. You know when a player is tired on the field or the court, he comes back to the bench and he's substituted with a, a more fresh player. They make a switch. Okay, great, but we don't have soccer and basketball players, Mr. M. We have marbles and cups. Yeah, exactly. So the cups are going to be substituted. They're going to come off and you're going to put the marbles there instead. That is a substitution. Take the cup out, you put, place it with the marbles. So how do you show it then using numbers? Two steps. 
First, we write the expression, which is c plus 3. That's step 1. Step 2 is you make the substitution. Get the c out and switch it with the value of c. So we won't write c, we will write 6, because that's how much c is worth. And then we will write plus 3. And that makes 9. So the value is going to be 9. What does the cup represent? The cup represents a mystery amount. Remember, we've got some in here and we're not telling you what it is. It is a variable. It's a mystery. So we call that a variable. What do the three counters represent? We called those the constant. Oh, look at this. We don't have one cup anymore. We've got two. We doubled the amount of cups. What do we call doubling? We call it times two. But remember, we don't use time symbols anymore. That's like way in the past. That's like great elementary stuff. Now, anytime you see a letter, it stands for a number. So we don't want to use this time symbol. We just want to do, this is times two. You put it in brackets. There, that's times two when you put another number beside it. So now we have double the amount of cups. I'm going to erase this here. I'll come back to that. It says, what expression does this model show? we got to turn this into an expression. Use the variable x in your expression. So we can't use c here anymore. We have to use x and another x because we have two of them. And we have plus three more, and we're adding these totals. And they have to be the same amount in each cup or this does not work. If I call this x, then I'm calling this cup x. Since they're the same letter, they have to be the same amount. Right. So back to this. The expression is going to be x plus x plus 3. That's it. But since we know that we're doubling the amount of marbles, and since one cup has a mystery amount, doubling it would mean putting a 2 in front of it. We have 2 x's. 2 times x plus 3 more is another way of writing it. This is the better way. This is also right, but this is better. This one here. Because you're using... It's it's almost like it's less, you know, we only have one plus sign, here we have two, here we have like, it just looks better. Now let's move on to this here. Evaluate this expression when x is 3. What does x stand for again? Right, it's the amount of marbles inside of the cup. So now I'm telling you that there are three marbles in this cup and three marbles in this cup and three more over here. Let's show the evaluation. We're going to use two strategies. We're going to use the cup and counter method, which means draw it out. And then substitute the amount. So what that means is just say, okay, there's three here. How do we know that there's three in there? Because it says right here, x is three. And since a cup is worth x, mystery, then there's three here. We won't write x, we'll write three. And then here this has three, and we have three more, and that makes nine marbles. That is the value. We have evaluated it. Remember the point of this lesson is evaluations. This is an evaluation. The second part says x isn't three anymore we don't have three inside of the cup we got four baby we got four not three so now we'll do it again we'll say okay okay no problem we got four here plus four there plus three more and that makes 11 we got 11 marbles some of you are thinking right now mr i'm this is so easy why are you making a lesson on this, this is so ridiculously easy you know what if that's what you're thinking it's not easy stuff but if you're finding it easy it's because you're smart that's why How about the second method, the substitution method? I'm going to show you how to do that. Split this in half, because we have two questions, not one. And write your expression. Write it twice. Because we have two questions. We got two, baby. We don't have one. We got two. So now we will substitute. We will take the three, and we will put it right where x is. We will take x out and put three in there. So what does that look like? It would look like this. 2, put a bracket, because we're timesing, and then put a 4. We're putting the 4 there. Plus 3. And that makes 11. Hey, and that's at 11 too. Great. Oh, wait, I did this one here. Okay, no problem. No problem. I thought I was doing something kind of weird there. Let's put this one here and stick it in there. We're going to get 2 times 3. We have three in each cup, plus three more makes nine marbles, which is what we did in the first one. There are two strategies that get you the same answer. Learn them both because you want to get the marks, right? 
So understand them both and do them both really well. Let's do this part here. This is the last question. What do we have? We got green blocks. Oh yeah, and it makes a pattern. And we got figure numbers. And we've got blocks here. We've got seven, five, and three. Then it says this pattern can be represented with the expression 2n plus 1. Okay, 2n plus 1. What is n? n is the figure number. So figure 1, I'm going to put 1 here. Then it says 2 times the figure number, so double it. Anything times 2 means double. And then add 1 more. So take the figure number and double 1. What do you get if you double 1? 2. Add 1 more, 3. That's how many blocks there are. Take figure 2 and double 2. You get 4. Add 1 more, you get 5. Look at that, five blocks. Take three and double it. You get six. Plus one more is seven. We do have seven blocks. So this expression allows us to figure these answers out. So now if I was going to answer this question, it says describe what 2n plus 1 represents. 2n plus 1 represents, it says right here, this pattern can be represented by the expression. It represents the pattern. The pattern of what? The pattern of the number of blocks. So it is the number of blocks. When you double the figure number and add one more, you get the number of blocks. We just did, we just proved it. We just proved that that's why it's, this works for that. Now take it to this one here. It says make a table of value. Anytime a question says make a table of value, you make a T. Not a little T. Not a baby one. Make a big one like this. A long T. And on one side, you're going to write N. And on the other, you're going to write 2N plus 1. What does N stand for? The figure number. So we're going to write all these figure numbers. In fact, they want us to go more. They want us to go from 1 to 6. I run out of room if I do that. You can go ahead and try it on your own. I'm just going to stop at 3. And the value of 2N plus 1 will be, let's write 2N plus 1 three times because I've got three questions. So here we're going to write two, bracket. The value of n here is first one. Plus one more makes three. So we write three. When n is two, we're going to write two times two plus one, and that makes five. Hey, you see that? See how that works? And now for the third one, we're going to write 2 times 3. That's the value of n. Plus 1 more is going to be 7. And we've got ourselves the proof of this pattern. How many squares are there in figure 30? Do you want to make figure 30? Do you want to keep going figure 4, draw it out, figure 5, figure 6? Do you want to go one at a time? There's got to be a shortcut. How miserable would it be if you had to do that? And you know what patterns allow us to do? Is to find the pattern and use it to figure things out that would take us otherwise a really long time. So now what we do here is we know the pattern. The pattern is double the figure number and add one more. The expression to show that is double the figure number and add one more. So now the figure number is 30. So you're going to write 2. Don't write N. Write 30. Substitute plus one more, that makes 70 blocks. No, what am I talking about? Mr. M, you got to learn how to review your addition. 60 plus one is 61 blocks. Because two times 30 is 60, plus one more is going to be 61, baby. You know what this does? You know what this is here? This is proof how awesome patterns are. Because if we didn't understand patterns, it would have taken you a monstrous amount of time to be able to figure this same answer out. But look, we did it in one step. One step, baby. So get good at these patterns. The key ideas that we have learned today are that if we see a cup, we are going to call those a variable. And anything we add to the variable is called a constant. And the fact that you can take any expression and turn it into cups and balls. Any expression can become cups and ballies. Anyone. Doesn't matter what grade you're in. If you're doing expressions, you can turn them into cups and ballies. And the second thing we learned today is that if you evaluate an expression by substituting a number, so if we have like 2n plus 1, we can substitute numbers in here to get the value. The whole purpose of this lesson is to evaluate. Remember that? Evaluate. And we evaluate using 
substitution. That's the only way we can evaluate, by plugging numbers in for the variables. So in other words, these variables aren't mysteries anymore. We know the numbers. We're being told what the numbers are. We plug them in and we get an answer. And we also learned how to make a table of values. We learned how to make a table of values. So you can take, you know, like put one side n and the other side 2n plus 1. And using substitution, start with like numbers here, and substitute them into the expression, you get the other side. That's what we've learned today. Hey, one thing that I forgot to show you is that number that multiplies the variable. See, this is the variable multiplied by 2. What do we call those numbers again that multiply the variable? Do you remember? It is the, aha, the coefficient is a number that multiplies the variable. These are called coefficients. So do make a note of that. Ah!